Hi, this video is going to demonstrate the ratchet system of the two-way oscillator. It converts the up and down movement of the lever into some kind of measurable potential energy. This axle is rotated through the ch this chain by the lever oscillation produced by the pendulum on the right hand side. The lever transfers the work through the chain into the lever ratchet. This ratchet transforms the axle movement into radial movement, winding up the nylon string onto the axle hub. This axle rotation brings a mass up, transforming the pendulum movement into potential energy. This demonstration shows the axle rotating and winding up the nylon string, which brings up the mass. If no chains are attached to the ratchet, the axle moves freely both in the clockwise direction as in the counterclockwise direction. You may notice here that this ratchet, also called the locking ratchet, moves freely in the clockwise direction. On this ratchet, called the lever ratchet, it also moves freely in the clockwise direction. Both of the ratchets move freely in the same direction, and since no chains are attached to the locking ratchet, the axle moves freely in both directions. Here you notice the locking action of the lever ratchet in the counterclockwise direction. This action transfers the axle movement of the lever into a radial movement of the axle. To avoid the axle to rotate in both directions, it has to be locked in such a way that it will only rotate in the counterclockwise direction. To perform such a locking duty, a fixed chain holds the locking ratchet system in position. This chain is fixed on the base of the ratchet system over the locking ratchet and it's then fixed into this holding pin. With the locking ratchet fixed in position by the fixed chain, the axle now cannot rotate in any other direction except the counterclockwise one. Here we can see that when we apply a counterclockwise force on the ratchet, it rotates the axle together. But when the ratchet rotates in the clockwise direction, the axle doesn't move. This movement makes the nylon string wind up on the axle, taking the mass up. We can see the mass reaching its top limit. To reset the system, both the locking ratchet has to be released from the chain along with the lever ratchet. To set up the system again, the locking chain and the lever chain has to be placed around the ratchets. Here you can see the system only with the lever ratchet armed. The axle rotates in both directions, making the mass attached nylon string go up and down. When the locking ratchet is armed, the axle can now only rotate in the counterclockwise direction. Difficult to notice here, but the lever chain is going up and down. When it goes up, the axle rotates with it, winding up the nylon string, taking the mass up. When the chain goes down, the axle is halted. With the release of the locking ratchet, the axle will rotate freely in the counterclockwise direction when the lever chain goes up, but in the opposite way, with the action of the mass pulling down the string and the axle. The same up and down movement seen from another angle. With the locking ratchet loose, notice the mass going up and down. Again from another angle. And here seen through the lever's point of view. After arming the locking ratchet system, 
the mass is being lifted by the lever, now going up and producing a real potential energy.